Hello and thank you for stopping by. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. My name is Carmine. I am a Windows user that promotes Linux to beginners, at least for you to try. So why not give it a shot? Well, speaking of beginners and for something for you to try, I've been testing the latest Ubuntu Budgie 1710 inside a virtual machine and I am impressed. This thing feels right coming out of the box. It seems like it just works out of the box. And my brief tests, definitely a recommendation as an alternative to whatever you are using now. So let's take a look at this and see what we have briefly. Again, running this inside a virtual machine. We have a panel here at the top. Starting from the top right, I do like the sidebar, applets notification. This reminds me of Windows 10. No insult to Linux developers. And maybe this was the goal of the developers to make you feel comfortable coming from a Windows environment. Applets, notifications. If we go to the bottom here, uh, the settings, let's take a look at this real quick. All right, so we have style, uh, desktop, fonts, windows, the top panel. Now you can add applets, which is nice. Uh, in Linux Mint Mods, hey, I could right click the top panel and add applets. You can't do this in this, but you can click the plus symbol here. I was looking for the weather applet, did not see it. That's somewhat unusual in this day and age not to have at least a weather applet. It is a little bit disappointing. But that's okay, it doesn't stop me from enjoying something like this. Uh, we can create a new panel, which I do not want to at this time. It looks like you created a bottom panel. Let's remove that. And auto start. We have the plank to the left here and the caffeine indicator. I believe this keeps the screen from locking if I am uh, yeah, from going into screensaver and sleep mode. Okay. All right, let's move along. Of course, the panel at the top here, we have some preferences for the time and date. I leave on the show date and I have a switch to 12 hour mode. You can hit the super key on the keyboard, which brings up, I believe this is the brisk menu, which is very nice, very user friendly. And you can also click, I guess we can call this the start button here, the top left. All right, the plank dock to the left with the usual shortcuts, Chromium, web browser, LibreOffice calculator, writer, Tilex, or which reminds me, my first thought of this was the tile cleaner, Tilex, but this is spelled Tilex. I think it's Tilex is T-I-L-E-X to clean. Anyway, that just popped to my head. Uh, no, no big deal. Uh, okay, rhythm box, of course, the standard, what appears to be the standard music player, the uh, file manager. And again, this is something that should be very easy for beginners to navigate through. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We got some settings here. We can make the icons a little bigger. Change the layout, the top left. You can also go into more preferences. Again, very simple. Let's move along and see what is installed by default briefly. I, I like the search bar at the top here. All right, accessory accessories. Let's see, of course we have plank weather. Let's see if that works. And I guess it's defaulting to my location. Okay, very good. It is warm for this time of year in Ohio. Super warm and humid. Anyway, moving along, uh, let's see here. All right, games, just a few. Graphics. All right, I would install probably the GIMP, but this is fine. Internet, not much here. Chromium, Geary, Transmission. Uh, Firefox, of course, Opera, v Vivaldi, there are so many choices nowadays for web browsers. Office, the usual LibreOffice, Science, LibreOffice Matte, Sound and Video. I would probably install VLC, System Tools. Okay, the Budgie, welcome. I would definitely take a look at this if you are new to this. This reminds me a little bit of the Ubuntu Mate welcome screen. This should be super user friendly for you to get acclimated to the world of Linux. Okay, very good. Let's move along. If you do, uh, and if you happen to have a spare machine, do it as a full install. This should run a little bit faster, although not too bad inside a virtual machine. This is also available, by the way, as a 32-bit um, uh, install, which is not available with the Ubuntu uh, GNOME desktop. All right, excuse me, system tools. 
All right, administration, nothing unusual here. Preferences, uh, we can look at different backgrounds here in a moment, see if anything catches my eye. Startup applications, probably not too many, just the two, okay. Let's go back, let's go to, um, okay, let's go to system monitor. This is supposed to be a lighter weight version for Ubuntu. Uh, 800 megs, I guess. Well, it's definitely lighter than the Ubuntu GNOME desktop, that's for sure. But uh, like I said, not too bad inside your virtual machine. Let's go to right click and go to background. And see what other choices we have. And you have the uh, settings menu here to the left from Wi Fi all the way down to details. And the Ubuntu 17.10. Let's go back. All right, let's go to, uh, yeah, let's go back to background and see what we have here. And see what other choices we have. Then we'll wrap this up real quick. Lady Liberty there, I noticed that. Uh, not too many, but let's check out this colorful one, see what that looks like. Nice. Colorful, just in time for the holidays coming up. Very good. Well, this feels solid. It feels sleek. It feels responsive, even inside a virtual machine. I would recommend this, especially for beginners over Ubuntu with the GNOME desktop environment, especially if you're just starting off in Linux. It feels very easy to use. I took a look at the installer. It has, it has a very automatic or a very user-friendly automatic installer. Should not be a problem for you to install this. And once again, keep in mind, 32-bit, 64-bit, both downloads, both images are available. And this just feels the way desktop should, ready to go out of the box with minimal, minimal fuss. So take a look at Ubuntu Budgie 1710. I highly recommend it. That's all I have for this one. Thank you for stopping by. Subscribe if you haven't. Support the channel if you can. As always, enjoy your technology, but please don't text and drive. I'll catch you on the next one, so have a nice Linux day.